Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back here today for another game review. Today, very excited to check out Manga Manga from Simply Fun. This is for two to six players. Take about 20 minutes to play, and it's for ages eight plus. And in Manga Manga, you are going to be playing down cards, trying to match colors as fast as you can in order to get rid of all the cards in your hand so you can gain oh so delicious victory points. It's a quick simple color matching game but this one has a twist though because if you're the worst player you're actually going to get what's called a consolation token which will give you a special ability later on in the game what am i talking about is it good let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think all right then we're gonna take a look at what you're gonna get inside of manga manga so first and foremost we have a handy dandy rule booklet it's one big page double-sided full color full of pictures illustrations examples very well done should have you up and running in no time at all and uh, you probably only need it once or twice, and mostly just so you can remember what these special abilities do, and you'll never really need it again. I can teach you how to play right now as well. So in Manga Manga, what you're going to do is you're going to start with a hand of six cards, which will have various different colors on them, and you're going to try to play down these cards as fast as you can, and if you're the first person to get rid of all your cards, then you win the round, which means you get one of these gold tokens, which have victory points on them. If you are the worst person in the round and you have the most cards left in your hand, then you actually get one of these tokens over here, which will give you a special ability you'll be able to utilize later in the game. How does it all work? Let's just show you because this is one of those games where if you kind of see it played, it makes much more sense. So everyone's going to get six cards. You're going to flip over the top card of the deck, and then you're going to take a look and simultaneously everyone's going to be doing this as fast as they can you're going to be playing down cards so right now the next card played it says next here has to be a card with green in the top so like this one would work or the wild would work so for me i could play this right here now the next card has to be a purple now this is where the game gets somewhat interesting because you cannot play two cards in a row you can never play two cards in a row so despite the fact that i have one two three purples I have to wait for someone else to play on this before I can because you can't play two cards in a row. So let's just pretend somebody else plays a wild. When you play a wild, you then decide what the next color is. So someone might say, uh, purple. And so then I might do that. And then the next person might play a wild. They might be like, white. And then this person play might say that. And then you get it. You're trying to play your cards as quick as humanly possible. So at the end of the round, when someone has completely played all their cards, what's going to happen? So the person who went out is going to get one of these tokens right here, which will either be worth one point or it'll be worth two points. The white ones are worth two points. They're a little bit more rare. Now, the person who has the most cards is going to get one of these consolation discs right here. And the consolation disc will give you special ability you'll be able to use later. So, for instance, this one. Uh, this allows the user to discard a single card. So, instead of having six cards at the beginning of the round, you'll have five cards. This card is going to allow you to Get rid of two cards, uh, exchange two cards pretty much. So if you have a lot, you say you have four purples in your hand, which are going to be really difficult to play, you can get rid of some purples and get something else. That's just a flat victory point, which is obviously great. This one is going to scrap everybody else's wild. So those wild dragons that the people had, guess what? Now they're gone and they have to draw up new cards. But you can use these in later rounds. And what you can really, uh, what's kind of cool is, uh, you can accumulate them. So let's say you could use three on a specific turn. So let's say you had two of the ones that let you discard your cards. You could start off the game with only, or the round, I should say, with only four cards in your hand. But anywho, once you're done with the round, you're going to reshuffle, reel, redeal, and repeat until you go through, I believe it's nine rounds, however many of these tokens there are. Once you get done with that, you will tally up the points. Whoever has the most points will be the winner of Manga Manga. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Alrighty then, Manga Manga from Simply Fun. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. The biggest reason is this is a very light, simple, color matching speed game, which will be a turn off to some people. Some people don't like speed games. If you don't like speed games, you're going to want to steer clear of this. Also, this game falls firmly into the family weight category and also slightly the children's category as long as there's an adult there to help them. Because I feel like... It's not a pure children's game because I don't think kids could play this by themselves unless they're a little bit older just because of those special ability tokens and having to look those up and having to read what those do. Unless they can't memorize them because I think there's only like four. Uh, I would not say this is a game night game by any stretch of the imagination or even an adult game unless 
you're playing very, very light games. Like if your game night plays stuff like Pandemic or Ticket to Ride, very light stuff, then yes, this could be used as a lightweight filler, but for most game nights, I do not feel like this is going to be something you're going to grab. Another comment I have with this game, theme is completely non-existent. You know, it's Manga Manga, which is the, the Japanese comics or cartoons or whatever they are, and the, the, the artwork, that's it. That's the extent of the theme in this game is just the artwork. So don't expect a theme in this game. Another comment that I have with this game is that I wish there was more special ability tokens. And this is more of a nitpick. This is actually kind of a, a pro because I really like those special ability tokens. But I wish there was more of them. And I wish they were the kind of things where you could uh, mix and match. So you could have different kinds of them. And I'd love in the future, even though I'm pretty sure this game is super old by this point, to have an expansion that was just more of those tokens. I think that would really give the game some extra legs, even though I do think it has legs right now. Um... Oh, last comment I have of this game is that while I kind of like the fact that there's some two-point and some one-point victory tokens that you can earn, it can be very swingy, especially when you're playing at five or six players, because at five or six players, two tokens or three tokens can win you the game, victory point tokens I'm talking about. And if you get two of those two-point tokens in a five or six player game, you're probably going to win the game. So they can be extra swingy, especially at the higher player counts. Oh, last con that I have is some people are not going to like the rule where you can't play two cards in a row, which is only when you're playing three through six players, not in the two-player version of the game. It did annoy me somewhat because it would lead to instances, quite frequently actually, where it's like, can anybody play a card? Can anybody play a card? Anybody? Anybody? Can anybody play a card? Okay, no, then we flip over another card. But I understand why they implemented that rule because you don't want someone like just ordering their hand one specific way and being like, boop, 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 done, out. So uh, I'm kind of 50 50 on that. But moving on to the pros, Manga Manga is a great family weight game. And as long as there's an adult there, I feel like it's a great children's game. And this game is going to replace Blink in my classroom. So Blink is a very popular mass market game that is for two or three players where you're matching colors and the different shapes and the number of shapes on cards and it's very similar to this game it's got some differences but overall it's a very similar game this game i feel is vastly superior because it, it recreates the feel of the speed because it's still a very speedy game but the thing that i really like this is it has numerous different rounds so even if a child loses they could win next round they could win the next round i but the thing that I love the most are the special ability tokens. The fact that if you lose, you get a special ability token. Even if there's a tie for losers, so if three people have four cards, they all get those special ability tokens. And I really love the fact that you can stack up those special ability tokens. So if you somehow could get three of the ones that say, hey, you discard a card at the beginning of the round, you could start with just three cards in your hand, which is fantastic. So it adds this artificial catch-up mechanism, which doesn't actually feel artificial. So I really like that aspect of the game. That's actually probably my favorite aspect of the game. And what bumps this from being a good family weight game to being a great family weight game. That and the fact that it plays well in all the different player counts. I liked it at 2, I liked it at 6, and I've played it at all the different player counts now at this point in my classroom because the kids in my classroom went gaga for this game. They really, really enjoyed this game. Oh, one last comment I have for this game is that the cards are flimsier than I would like them to be. Uh, they just feel a little bit too wiggly, especially in a game like this where people are going to be slamming down cards. So that is the last comment I did want to mention is that I wish the component quality of the cards was just a little bit thicker. Um, but the kids in my class, you know, a couple of them are big into manga, so that this instantly gravitated them towards the game, despite the fact that the theme is completely non-existent. And they, they later went on and say, oh yeah, the this isn't really about manga, it's just pictures of people. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the case. Uh, but yes, I think this is a great family weight game. It's probably out of print, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I know this is an older game, but if you can find this and you play with kids that I say are ages six plus, just period, I think you're going to enjoy this game. Also, if you do have a lighter weight gaming group or a gateway game group, I think this is a great filler weight game. I personally enjoy this game a lot myself. I think this is just a great game, period. 
Now, I don't think everyone's going to agree with me because it is a very light, simple, no strategy at all game. But if you were in the market for that kind of game, Mega Mega, you can't go wrong with it. Plays well at all the different player counts. Uh, I love the special ability tokens. I love the hidden scoring. And in the end, Manga Manga from Simply Fun, I think, is a great game. I don't think everybody else is going to agree, but if you like lightweight games, if you like speed games, if you're looking for a family game, or if you're looking for a children's game, assuming that you're playing with your kids, this is definitely one I can recommend. So that is Manga Manga from Simply Fun, one that I will be keeping. It's going to be going into my classroom. It's going to be replacing Blink. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Manga, yay or nay? For me personally, hard nay. I tried to read some. Uh, I've tried to read some a couple times. When I, you know, I used to go into Barnes & Noble uh, back before I had kids and sit there for a couple hours, hit on women, and uh, just read. You know, I'd grab four or five books and I'd just start reading, you know, seeing which what captured my interest. And I always would grab a manga, you know, some of those comics, because they look cool. They do. And I see they have this huge section, and there's so many different series, and I'd love to get into it. I just never could. But let me know in the comments below. Manga. Yay. Nay. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.